John, if we start by looking back at pre-season, how's it gone? Six matches, strong opposition and, and plenty of hard work on the training pitches? Really good. I think everyone watching the games can see we've, well, we're in a good place. Um, the, the preparation's been really good. The boys have come back really fit. So it made the, the running simpler, made the, made the balls come out earlier. Um, we, had, we get right into the tactics right away, so everyone's been well drilled into their roles and uh, I think we look good, uh, we feel good, but it's about embracing that now into the real games and sort of transferring what we've worked on in pre-season. We've had things that we need to improve on that we've been working on, but uh, we look in a good place and, and hopefully we can carry that into Newcastle. Just quickly uh, talk us through the importance of pre-season. One, getting that fitness under your belt and two, working on the ideas and the information that you get from the coaching staff? Well, we've never had a pre-season with a manager before, so he's had that time to put his ideas in place without the, the interruption of competitive games. Get new players to, to bed into the group, get to know them as people, um, go away as a squad, do things together. And then that people don't realise how important that actually is. So, got on really well as a team out there, you can tell on the pitch and then the new guys learn the way we, we play. Um, we need to be on the ball all the time, switched on and uh, the, the boys have settled in well and, and hopefully they can adapt quickly to, to what we want to do. You've touched on it there, the new signings settling into the squad. Talking of new signings, this week marks five years since you joined the club. How do you look back on those five years and four more? I just, we pride really what we've achieved the, the journey we've went on, plenty plenty of bumps along the road but um, when I signed we, we were in a, a bad place as a club, um, desperate to get back to the top flight. The owners have, have transformed this place alongside everyone who's contributed, players, staff, now the, the signs are so promising. Uh, I've enjoyed every minute, it's been, been a roller coaster, but uh, huge pride and it's, like I said this is, this is home for me now, it feels at home. Uh, same space every day, uh, same journey in, I'm not getting bored of it, which is the main thing, still hungry for more and hungry to succeed and the next step is why not try and lift a trophy, um, been manifesting it, the manager's been manifesting it, it's really tricky, it's always very difficult, it's the hardest league in the world, um, you watch Man City Arsenal at the weekend, the standard's extremely high but um, the minute teams like that slip up, we've got to be ready to pounce on it and, uh, and we will be. We're just days away from the start of the new season now, excitement levels must be high. How are you feeling? Good, excited. Um, the, the preparation's sort of bubbling away. I think the challenge for us now is, uh, last season, we surprised a lot of teams. Um, we, we had an incredible run to get ourselves into Europe, but now the respect will go up. Uh, the, the, the opposition will try ten times harder to stop the way we play, and we've got to embrace it. It's, a, it's the pressures are playing for for a club that want to belong in these European places, challenge at top four, try, try to get in the top six. We need to embrace that the pressure's on. We've got expectation now, and um, we're all looking forward to it. It's a really tough game to start with. They're a, they're a good side at home. Our record there is not great, but we're in a good place, and hopefully, preparation. Can, can continue to go as well as it has been. But we're all excited. We're, we're looking forward to get up there on Friday and, and relaxing for the game. <coughs> You've touched on it there. I mean, we played Newcastle in pre-season. It was a hard-fought three-all draw over in the USA. What are you expecting on Saturday? Very little time on the ball. They're, they're a high, high energy, energy team. Fully deserved to, to get in the Champions League. Um, it was a great game over in America. We showed our qualities, then they came back at us with theirs. Uh, we bit like a boxing match. Uh, and it ended in a draw, probably a fair result in the end, but once they get that place going, it's uh, it's rocking. So we need to be our best to, to get the three points, but we'll be going there to win. We'll be going there to get the three points and uh, the full team and, and squad believe that we can do that. And just finally, what are your ambitions for the new season, both personally and collectively as a team? Well, personally, I want to get more goals. Um, my goal return for the last few seasons hasn't been great. I'm now playing in positions that are higher up, which allow me to do similar things to what I was doing for, for Scotland, to try to get in the box, try to create things and um, and help the team. But obviously my position can change at any time. Um, I'm quite versatile. The manager likes to change the way I play a lot. So 
just happy to help the team, but certainly get more goals uh, on a personal level. And as a team, we we want to do something exciting. Uh, I know we keep saying it, but we need to have better runs in the cups. Um, we need to try and progress as far as we can in Europe and in the league. We'll, we'll just wait and see what we can do. But don't want to put any sort of numbers on it. But we want to improve on last season. That's the aim.